thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be all on serums that will help to even your skin tone help with hyperpigmentation and dark spots so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so before i get into the video i want to get a lot of housekeeping out of the way if you're a returning subscriber i love you thanks so much for returning if you're new here i am bridget on this channel, I do skincare, makeup with a little bit of lifestyle videos sprinkled in. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, please consider subscribing to my channel. I love to have you join the family. So I have about five here that I want to talk to you all about. These are products that I have been using in upwards to six months to a year. So I can speak to whether they work or not. These are the ones that out of all of the serums that claim to do so, these are the ones that I feel work the best. And I wanted to talk to you all about them. But before I get into actually talking about uh, the serums, remember that anytime you're incorporating your skincare routine and you're serious about it, um, make sure that you also tweak any areas of your lifestyle that needs to be tweaked. I've talked about this in past videos and I'm just talking about, uh, for example, if you are like very stressed a lot, you know, see if you can do things to address that because we all know that stress can affect your skin. Let's say your diet is poor. We all know that if you have a poor diet that can affect your skin. So it's just a lot of things within our lifestyle that can affect our skin so if we're trucking along and we have this great skincare and we're using it and we got the skin uh, skincare routine going on but the lifestyle part isn't quite where it needs to be it's going to look like the products don't work i also did a video talking about uh, ways that you can maximize the products that you use i'll link it up above and in the description box below and i touch on some important points that you know, if your skincare routine isn't working, if you adjust these particular things, that could actually help improve the efficacy of your skincare routine. So, just want to put all that out there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the first serum. One. And the first one that I have is by Dermalogica, and this is their Smart Response Serum. This one responds to skin's changing needs. So what's cool about this particular serum is that whatever your issues are, it kind of adjusts to that. And that's what I really like about it. And you could have one particular area that needs um, addressing one day, like let's say your skin is dehydrated and you need hyaluronic acid uh, production support. It could help with that. And then on another day, if it sees that you need a little bit more help in evening your skin tone, this pretty much adjusts to that. It does have like a thick, uh, milky type of texture. It is cooling when you apply it. And it also helps with firmness, just in case you are looking for a serum that would help with that. So it has a lot of areas that it can adjust and help with. But again, if you're needing something that's going to even out the hyperpigmentation and the dark spots, this is definitely one to try. It is on the pricier side, but I find that it works. I noticed that when I was using this once I stopped I could see that I had to automatically incorporate other serums to address whatever needs that I had whereas this one it just kind of addresses the needs as it goes you know day by day so this is definitely a good one to try all right so the next one is by the inky list and this is the 15% vitamin C and EGF and this one helps to intensely brighten the skin so I'm not sure if you all are familiar with the inky list product Products, but if you have a serum or moisturizer, whatever it is, if you turn it around, it tells you if you can use that product in the daytime or at nighttime. And it tells you if it's to use to treat or support anything like that. It's almost anything that you want to know about that product as, as far as how to use it, when to use it, why you're using it. It gives you that on the back. Now, I think that their products are great. They're super affordable. I like this particular serum. It does have a very fluid, thin consistency, as you could see. Their products are very affordable, um, but, well, there are no buts. <laughs> well, there is a but. When you get the products, you don't really get as much. So you're gonna go through them 
faster so that's one thing that i've that i've noticed yes i do enjoy the cheaper price but you know you go through it pretty quickly and then you have to go back and get more so this one's um a really good one to try and i really do like the fact of how thin it is i love products that are really thin fluid um easy to absorb quickly into the skin so yeah this one's really good for brightening the skin and remember if you do have any type of products with vitamin c well really all of your serums all of your skincare you need to keep it in a uh, a dark a cool place or either out of the sun in a cool place because that will help it last longer. All right, so next up I have the Clarins Bright Plus Serum and it comes in a little bottle like this and it's really cute. looks like an oval egg and it has a little button at the top. This particular serum has a milky texture and it is fast absorbing. You only need a little bit of it and they have a special complex brightening formula and and their serums, their moisturizers are plant-based. So this one is going to do a really good job of evening out any hyperpigmentation and dark spots. And even if you just want to have a serum like this to keep all of that at bay and just not have it getting worse. Again, this one has an advanced brightening complex formula that has all plant-based ingredients. I like to incorporate it on days where my skin is really dull and it really helps with that. But as you can see, the serum is really thick, a very thick, milky formula. So if those are the type of serums that you like, I would check this one out. All right, so the next one that I have is by Good Molecules. This is the Discoloration Correcting Serum. And this is formulated with, I'm gonna put the name on the screen because I don't wanna butcher it. And it's to target hyperpigmentation and promote an even skin tone. Comes in a little bottle like this. This is another one that has like a um, thicker white milky consistency it's not as thick as the Clarins but, but it is leaning toward that it does absorb really fast in the skin you really don't need it need that much I am down to here in this particular serum I used it religiously religiously this has been out I think for a year or two um, it's been out quite a while, but I was incorporating this along with their toner and some other uh, skincare products that they have. By the way, if you're not familiar with the molecules, definitely go to their website. They have all kinds of skincare, body care um, that will really help address any issues that you may have. So it does help with fading, hyperpigmentation, and dark spots. It works well with other moisturizers, toners, and things like that. Some uh, skincare doesn't really mix well with others uh, for whatever reason. This one does, and I particularly like how this one looks under makeup. I have used some serums that when you put it under makeup, it kind of tends to ball up or do some weird things. This one doesn't do that. Just make sure with any of these products, if you're going to immediately apply your makeup on afterwards, put a thin layer of it. But anyway, this is super good for fading dark spots and addressing hyperpigmentation. Yeah. All right, so the last one that I have is the Blue Algae Vitamin C, Vitamin C Skin Clarity Brightening Serum. So I'm not sure if you all have seen this floating around on uh, Instagram or the YT. But this particular uh, serum uses a exclusive blue algae vitamin C of um, ingredient in it. And the particular serum is like a light blue serum. I've actually used this one up. I need to buy another one. This one is super good for fading dark spots. I'll probably have to say out of all the ones that I have listed here, this one does the best at fading dark spots. This little bottle doesn't, it doesn't last that long. <laughs> I wish it did because of the price, but if you have any issues with that, I would definitely say to try this. I'm not even sure if you could get a, a sample because this is on the pricier side, but if you can, you know, next time you're in Sephora, ask if they provide like the little packets or something. I'm not even sure. I'm just saying, but anyway, works really well. And I think that it's the blue algae vitamin C formula, in my opinion, because it just kind of tends to work a little bit faster and better than the other formulas. But if you haven't tried it and you're looking for a serum that's really going to fade that, 
uh, dark spots and hyperpigmentation, definitely try this. Remember, you do have to use it longer than 30 days. Be very consistent. And I would use this at night. Don't apply it and then go out in the sun. At night. And remember, don't store it in the, in the sun or anything like that. Keep it in a dark, cool place. But yeah, this one's really good. I like it. I just don't like the price. So anyway, those are the five serums that I wanted to tell you all about. I think that those are probably the best uh, working serums in my skincare collection that will address hyperpigmentation and dark spots. Remember, anytime you're using a skincare product or a moisturizer or a toner or whatever, use it as directed and give it time to work. At bare minimum, you should use it at least 30 days. Um, and if it's not working after three months or six months, then again, I would suggest at that point, either trying to tweak it or seeing a dermatologist. So that's it. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these serums. If so, how well did they work or how well did they not work for you? Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.